Sup everybody, it's D's World. Got a reaction. I'm about to react. A woman right here that she's saying that twerking is help for the spirit for women. <laughs> no, I guess she's a feminist and everything that kind of way. And I just want to see what she's talking about, that kind of stuff. You know, so twerking is good and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, uh, I mean, if that makes you feel better, that's you. But if I'm just chilling and let's say if I have my mom or something that kind of way wants to go twerking or something, I'd be like, mom, stop. You better stop it. People looking right there. Because, you know, if you a guy and you've seen a girl that's twerking all the time like that, what is the first thing that a guy thinks? Ho. Oh, what's up with that girl? Oh, yeah, it's easy like that. That's what, if you do it all the time, come out like that, you're an easy girl. That's what guys think that kind of way. So let's see what she's saying with her thing. So anyway, let's go. Him, but not for you. Mm -hmm. So finally, on, when I was like maybe 24 years old, I started to go to dance, like more hip hop dance classes in LA. And I ended up at a twerk shop. <laughs> and that was the first time of really taking a class that was dedicated to twerking. A twerk shop. <laughs> oh, why don't you just a <laughs> uh, twerk shop, man? What the, they got those? Oh yeah. And That's I was like, I feel like I'm naturally doing this, but like, I bet you there's hella guys just watching, huh? Like out inside, <laughs> in, in <laughs> watching the chair. Oh look, yeah, they're good. <laughs> they good. <laughs> Look at how she looks. She's like, yeah, it makes me happy. Everybody's looking at me. It makes me good. <laughs> I'm around these other women who are doing the same thing. And that's when I started to really practice the art of twerk. So when I say twerking, I'm talking about, I mean, we think of Megan the Stallion and Cardi B, but actually this dance form comes from the Congo. It comes from African dance. Yeah, it isn't a freaking Cardi, Cardi, Cardi B and stuff. She was a stripper, right? culture where women would shake and if you still look at many different tribes around the world it's like a very natural primal dance form of like the womb connecting to earth mm -hmm. so i remember one day i went to a twerk class with my friend and now this was like years later i was probably like 28 29 years old and he he's a gay guy and he shared it on his <laughs> stories <laughs> <And I> was, <laughs> <laughs> So his gay friend right there, he <laughs> showed him how to twerk or something. Basically, they twerk together. Oh, <laughs> oh I got to take this serious. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's keep going. I'll keep going. I'm sorry. I just wanted to laugh so much. I was like, oh, my God, like you cannot share that on my on your stories, because by then I had already had two books on Ayurveda. I was like spiritual teacher, white dress, mala beads, like the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh. people cannot know what to work. <laughs> you know? Damn. So you're a damn. So you'd be smoking, too, then uh, you're like a 70 freaking hippie. <laughs> and then. He's like, wow, I'm getting such a great response about this. So then I reshared it and I'm like, am I safe? And I recognize, okay, I'm safe. And then I started to share a little bit more. Am I safe? Okay, yes, I'm safe. And I started to share more and more. And I started to get a response from people like, wow, like I want to do that too. Or wow, I didn't know that you dance or, or even like, what are you doing? Like, mm -hmm. that's disgusting. Who are you to do that? And I realized like, what a response a woman in her femininity, in her power evokes, love and hate. Mm -hmm. So a woman twerking has power. It doesn't work that kind of way. You are tripping, tripping, okay, tripping. Uh, and as I started to dive more into my own journey of expressing and embodiment through dance and then realizing that shaking is such a primal practice of releasing trauma and somatic blockages and emotions <laughs> through our body, especially our hips. Our hips now we know is where we store emotions. Yep. So when you are twerking, when you're shimmying, you are literally releasing trauma, releasing, <laughs> releasing stored emotions from your hips. When you're bending your knees, you're crouching on the floor, you're connecting to earth, you're connecting to the womb, you're restoring your energy. And that's why it's not even just an African dance, but a Middle Eastern dance in Latin American dance, salsa mm -hmm. dance, bachata, every single dance form has some form of hip movement to it. This is also why zebras, when they're running away from a lion and they're about to get eaten <laughs> and they make it into the nick of time, they shake their bodies off. Or leave. 
<laughs> she, well, let me go back a second. She said the the zebras better get eaten by the lions, and they start shaking. <laughs> This is also why zebras, <laughs> when they're running away from a lion and they're about and to get twerking, eaten, no, don't get me, don't and they get make me. it in the nick of time, they shake their bodies off, release the trauma, and they come back to homeostasis. Before they kill them? I started them. to realize that as I was doing this, I was healing myself <laughs> through all of these generations of collective trauma that now we know with epigenetics is actually stored within our systems. And I realized that twerking, shimmying, undulating, shaking, truly is a spiritual practice and now damn you guys think that she shaved her armpits i don't think so i don't know that's pretty that's a good that's a good question you hey tell me do you think she shaved her arp uh, her, her armpits i don't think so I share it as much as I can. Spirit. It definitely evokes a reaction from people, and mm -hmm. we can dive into that because I know you've experienced it too. But then once people try it, and oftentimes it's the people who are first like, how can you do that? Like Because they've only seen twerking in a really mainstream media depicted way where it's like directed by a man for a man, and mm -hmm. the woman is not in her power. And like that's what we think of sexuality as being sold back to us. But when we... Oh my goodness. As as women, especially reclaim our sexual power for ourselves mm -hmm. and bring that erotic innocence back to it too. Of like I'm just doing it for my own fun. It's not for anyone else. <laughs> so you start shaking and stuff, start like twerking. Come on, start twerking with her. Come on, like what's up? She's like, No, no, do not touch my booty. I am from the spirit. I am a strong woman. Do not touch me. It's like the hell then why why are you dancing like that no because i am a strong woman shut the hell up man. what the shut up man they start looking like that if you're gonna look like that people's gonna tell you if you dancing and if you're shaking <laughs> and if you guys i'm telling you, i'm a guy we know this you come over there you're all twerking all that kind of stuff what the first thing you think oh you a hoe. that's the whole thing if you do that all the time if I'm with my mom, be like, stop it. Have my sisters twerking, or I don't know, just doing random places or doing anything, twerking. If I have my grandma or something twerking, I'm like, damn, you're too old. What the heck? I mean, it's cool to dance, yes, but twerking? Oh, my goodness. There is such power in that. There's no that power the with that. People often come back and they realize they just needed to twerk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've experienced the same same response. Sometimes, you know, receiving messages saying I used to, you know, get really upset or triggered or annoyed when you would twerk. And then one day I decided to try it and I get it now. Yeah. And it's <laughs> a, such also an empowering way to celebrate our bodies, our bodies that we have been told for so long to not allow our bodies to jiggle, right? To tone. What the hell? What is that? A bumblebee? She got a bumblebee right here. Damn. That's kind of Titan interesting. And be thin. And like, we don't want cellulite. Like, we don't want to jiggle. So when you take your power back with everything that you just said, connecting mm -hmm. to earth, con releasing trauma from your <laughs> hips, you're also celebrating your butt, your thighs, your, your belly, and just allowing that all to shake, saying you don't tell me the world doesn't tell me <laughs> oh yeah i know what's gonna happen it's gonna go to that kind of way i, I can't i can't i can't watch the rest of that man oh yeah so being a twerk and everything going out like that if that makes you power okay for you you girls i'm telling you if you really believe that being a twerk person makes you strong and powerful it's not really, it's not powerful at all, okay? I'm talking about most of the guys. I'm a guy. I know guys. I kick it with guys. My homies, my cousins, everybody, my family, anybody right there. If we, we slide through, you see girls come over here, start twerking all the time. Most of the time, what what is the first time we think? I already told her earlier. You easy like that. And that's the, the first thing we're going to see. Like, oh, damn, I'm going to see what's up because you easy. That's how guys all the time. So that's no power that kind of way. Spiritual way, oh, I guess if, if you like want to be a freaking hippie or whatever, that's your thing. But gosh, stop thinking like that. That's crazy how people think this way. This is crazy. Crazy, man. Oh, man. Twerking makes you feel better. It's like, dude, why don't you have a regular date and have a boyfriend or something? Do you have a boyfriend? I don't know. I don't want to. I can't watch the whole freaking interview right now. Maybe I should. 
but I don't want to because <laughs> oh man so hey man tell me what you think about this on the comment right now do you agree with her do you disagree or what this is this is interesting but i think man she's kind of i don't know that she has a boyfriend when last time she had a boyfriend that she's probably with like a girl or something i'm not sure that's no power being a twerk there's no power you're tripping ah stop it all right man hit me comments like